Another migrant caravan is on the move, causing worry for Border Patrol agents, with officials having experienced more than 1.6 million migrant runnings from September 2020 to September 2021. That's four times the amount in the previous fiscal year. Fox's Krista Mayo reports. Our dream is to be in the United States. The first migrant caravan of 2022 departing Honduras this weekend with hundreds of mostly Central American migrants marching onward towards the U.S. Officials say the group originally contained roughly 600 members, but split into slightly smaller groups to not attract as much attention while entering neighboring Guatemala. There is an 80% chance that we can get through. Only God knows if we can get through. But the journey north is already coming to a grinding halt for several members apprehended by Guatemalan police while crossing over the border. Officials say dozens were deported back to Honduras before they could continue marching. This comes as some immigration support groups are urging against caravan travel. Previous ventures have not worked. They have not had good results. In that sense, the dangers are bigger than the possibility of achieving the much desired American dream. Meanwhile, some new policies in the U.S. are coming under fire for assisting undocumented immigrants. California Governor Gavin Newsom is proposing $2.2 billion to help fund health care for low-income residents, including people living here illegally. We are positioned uh, with this budget to be able to deliver on what we've been promoting, universal health care for all, regardless of pre-existing condition, regardless of the ability to pay, and regardless of your immigration status. We believe in this principle. And in the Big Apple, more than 800,000 non-citizens could vote in local New York City elections starting in 2024. Chris DeMeo, Fox News.